Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Mardu Battle March. Mardu Battle March? Wait, we're playing... What is this? Okay, so Mardu, we got that. It's red, white, and black. Okay. We, we can see some red, some white, and some black. Makes sense. So Battle... Ah, because we're playing a Lumbering Battlement deck. So, 5 mana, 4, 5, Vigilant. I get, you know, I know you can read the card right there, but still... Hey, what's up, Deathsta? Deathsta being sub number 20 on the day. Love it. Keep getting that hype in the chat. Sub battle, March countdown. Going down to 148. All right. So, Lumbering Battlement means that we're going to want to exile our own creatures underneath it. Hey, there you go, Aaron. Your message came up now, finally. There you go. Four months now. Thank you. Um, so we want creatures with Enter the Battlefield effects, since we're going to be exiling them. So as you can see here, we have all of our creatures have Enter the Battlefield effects. Uh, we have our early drops with Zealot and Squire to help us hit land drops to, con to, to continue on to our more expensive stuff. Uh, same with the Midnight Reaper does as well. Playcrafter, you can sack like your little Zealots or, or whatever. Um... Chupacabra is awesome, as you know. Got to got to have some removal, get some discard and life gain. Demanding dragon is going to be pretty nice here. So, will they sacrifice a creature? Maybe they don't have any creatures to sacrifice after our playcrafters and chupacabra shenanigans. If not, they're taking five. So, battle makes sense. And now March. That's right. We're a mirror March deck as well. This is my first time playing a mirror March deck. Well, also first time playing a lumbering battlement deck. So it'll be the first time for both of those. And uh, so this basically when every single time a non-token creature enters the battlefield under our control, we get to flip coins until we lose and make that many tokens that are copies of that creature. So we'll see if we get to live the dream of making a bunch of demanding dragons that just each deal five to the opponent and just fireball them out like that. Uh, but, you know, it could be cool making a bunch of Chupacabras or Bell Haunts or anything, especially like our Battlement dies. We put, a, you know, like three or four creatures into play and they all start making copies. It could get pretty crazy. So uh, we'll see if we get to do anything real crazy here. Also got to find just to get some creatures back. Sideboard, we got our five cards. Hopefully we don't need anything else besides these five cards. And there we go. Let's go battle march some people. Burr, burr, burr. Got everybody jump on the party bus. <laughs> yeah, we mirror march all of our Midnight Reapers. Good thing is Midnight Reaper does say non-token creature dies, so we don't... You know, if it makes a bunch of token uh, Midnight Reapers, we don't have to worry about them killing uh, killing us. All right, and good thing we have Squire help us hit our land drops. Mono blue. That's not a land. Well, we'll see if we hit our land drops and get to start chupacabring our opponent's creatures or not. <laughs> oh, don't mind us. Just got our six mana enchantment. That's going to resolve against mono blue aggro. Absolutely. Whoa. What? So they're tapping it after I already attacked. So I can let this resolve, deal two to them, they draw a card. Or I could just be like, no, you don't get to draw your card. Let me flicker this. And sure, I don't deal two damage, but you know, whatever. Ugh, still no lands. At least they won't draw their card. So I think it's 
worth basically letting them gain two like they gain two life there and discarded a card. All right, finally found a land. Now we only need three more. <laughs> okay, what are you up to? Is that a meow? That's a meow. Hey, boy. Hawkeye. Not hot guy. Ooh, got there. Choop, 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 uh, loop, loop, loop. So, still very unclear why our mono blue opponent has this Depose deploy. Maybe they've accidentally had it in, your deck, in their deck and forgot to take it out. I play with the pen. Hmm. I'm going to play crafter or zealot. Could potentially do both if we get lucky. Tilt. Ow. I think I'm supposed to just play Demanding Dragon, right? And not Battlement? Yeah, because we're going to take Lethal. Alright. This dragon is demanding you to do something. Oh, yes. Yeah, sack the Tempest Gin. Sack the Tempest Gin. Do it. Tempest Gin. Tempest Gin. Tempest Gin. Dang. Do I just want to attack with these things? They kill like my squire, but I deal three to them. That's true. If my opponent has land trickster, I'm dead. Yeah, them being at five not only makes the demanding dragon trigger lethal, it makes the demanding dragon attack lethal. Origins. At least that means no counter spell. Wow. Why would you attack there? 
Why would you attack there? So they're just going to use the plus zero plus three card. Just going to waste it just so they can save the Curious Obsession. Like, there's no point in making that attack. All right, Mr. Previously, have a wonderful night. Thanks for being here all day. So they did not sack the tapped creature. So now they have to chump block, get him down to two. Dude, Demanding Dragon has been nice. Yeah, good thing good thing this wasn't Siege Gang Commander, right? Alright, do they have Trickster? Yes or no? What? How are they stacking the Storm Tamer? So now now they have to use the Jin to block the Demanding Dragon. If they sack the 2-2, the two -two, they could have the Jin block my Chupacabra and the Storm Tamer. Basically, they could still have the, the Jin alive. All right, so we're going to have Mortifies, Contempts, Duresses, all the removal, Clarions, that's removal, all the removal, Angrath's removal. All right, 75, submit, boom. All right, maybe not all 75. I'm going to get rid of Find, Mirror March. Um, what else are we getting rid of? Bell Hunt? Yeah, Bell Hunt. Kind of difficult to cast. Unfor unfortunately, it does not look like Battlement's going to be very good in this matchup. Unfortunately, our Battle March deck is going to do some high-quality cheering from the side from the sidelines here. Some high-quality cheering. So Zealot's not really doing much. Then. No, Battle March is still clutch here. You know, like we're gonna need a good hand and everything. That they're gonna be, you know, they're they're gonna be on the bench, you know, getting some getting some water for the starters and you know making sure you know keeping it loose, making sure everybody's doing their thing. All right, take Curious Obsession. That one's gone. All right, so they have Essence Scatter. Right, rather just draw a card automatically or scry. I think just draw a card. We are going for the fun, but 
Mono blue makes you change up your deck. Please don't just slam Tempest Gen. I don't have an answer for it yet. Yeah, do that. Sacking Storm Tamer? Wow. wow. That's a good that's a very good duress. Um Our opponent didn't want to scatter the zealot last time. Let's try let's see if they want to scatter a squire. Alright, they'll scatter that. And Tempest Jin. So this has got to be Jin now, right? There you go. Okay. I'll take it. Rawr, 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 rawr. Ooh. Hopefully no counter spell. Hopefully I didn't just draw a counter spell with that card they have in hand. No. 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 Tilt. I mean, I might as well just like choop this storm tamer, right? Because the storm tamer will just counter it like we just choop anything else. <laughs> ah, you're welcome, candy dude. Thanks for being here. I know I'm getting one less point of damage in here. I could sack the Playcrafter and get one more point, but I'd rather just have Playcrafter and them at six than have a one one and them at five. Rut row. Uh that's a lot of instants. Wait, how many do they have? One, two, three, four. Just four? I have to tap out. Thank you for not blocking first. That was convenient. All right, we are one and zero. Mardu Battle March. Didn't do very much much battling or marching, but we killed some things, and we are gonna take the victory with us, Hawkeye. Yeah, I know you're hungry, boy. I'm going to get you some dinner after this league. Get your cat butt off the screen. Get your cat butt. <laughs> yeah, we had our slime foot combo deck where we didn't do anything till the last one. Uh, let's keep it. We got a lot of land so we can get to our, our battlements. We'll find like some chubacabras or something along the way. All right, five mana, four five is pretty big. 
There we go. Look at that. I don't really want to shock and then play Midnight Reaper against Mono Red. I'll just put it in, in the graveyard. All right, Night Owl, you got your Quip donation deck ready? Nice. Espa Blink. All right. So basically the same same deck except for Esper. Okay. Any particular day or time, Night Owl, that works for you? So remember, I won't I won't be streaming Sunday, late in the stream any day. All right, I have a donation deck for tomorrow for last spot tomorrow. Is the only spot that I actually have filled up, so I can do last spot Monday. Or second to last Saturday. But second to last may not actually be very late, so I'll do last last on Monday for you. Yeah, our opponent just like disconnected or something. I don't think they've been blessed by the storm. I think they're that storm is has not blessing them. It's Messing with their internet connection. It's kind of blessing me. I think their username is incorrect. Or misleading. Alright, so we're going to do Esper Blink. Last Monday. All right, they're back. I will block. And they did not let me get that attack off. And they did not get let me get the block off there. I wanted to block real bad. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, glad you like the vest. Yeah. I'm liking how this vest looks, too. So is it better to Demanding Dragon or Battlement? I'm thinking Demanding Dragon first and then Battlement the Dragon afterwards. <clears throat> yeah. So I like where we're at here in this game. Take five or sacrifice something. Alright, Firebrand down. Yeah, DJ Polly B, our, our, the uptime is messed up. We started at noon. We're going noon to midnight. We had a disconnection earlier. So we've been on for almost 11 hours now. Boom. All right, dragon. Get on the bus. You don't usually have dragons get on buses, but here we are. That is a party bus. We can fit a dragon on it. Next turn, we're gonna throw, we're gonna throw the bus into an, a, onto a different bus, and then the dragon's gonna come back. All right, one bus leaves, a dragon comes back. It's working. It's working. I know, Hawkeye, it's working. Battle March. I 
All right, now do we do the exact same sideboarding we did last time? So Mirror March, Find, Reaper. Those are all out. Um, I want Contempt in, and I want Clarion in. And what, why do you want to attack me? I, I know I'm not feeding you right now. Here, attack the. There you go. Attack the pen. Don't attack me. Um. Yeah, we could have Mortify for Frenzy and stuff. I don't love Zealot. But I don't know. Like, maybe I just play some Duresses over Zealots. Hitting land drops can be tough, though. We'll see if we hit the land drops. We had a bunch of lands last game. Let's try this. Three Duress, two Mortify. Got all these portals. I don't know what we'll do with them. <laughs> Where's my lands at? I want lands. Okay. I guess we're keeping two lands. Scry another land. Good, good. Godless Shrine works really well with Bell Hunt as well. And I don't think I need to duress on turn two. Honestly, let's. Yeah, if we if we do get to Bell Hunt on four and then untap and portal it, that'll be nice. Dang it, that was the one card that I was thinking that would be good to to duress away. No, so punished. At least they don't really have anything to do with all those things. Another light up. No, it's a, it's a 60 card deck, right? Yeah, that's 60 cards. All right, this has worked for us. We've drawn two good lands. Yeah, they did side in collision with only dragon as a target. Uh, that's pretty good. At least those their light up parties didn't work out too well for them. I'm just gonna go with the bell hunt so we can try to portal it. Ooh, got a lightning strike and gain three life. Very nice, very nice. The problem is I'm I am taking another four here. Well, maybe I should just be going Chupacabra, because Chupacabra would kill the lava runner and eat the lightning strike. Oh, that is great. Discard this last card. Oh, it was a frenzy. Oh, it was a frenzy. Oh, it was a frenzy. I should have stopped him in draw step. I made him discard again. Oh, maybe not. I like this. They they strike the bell haunt. Bellhot portal!
Tuno, Mardu Battle March. We are really doing it. We've beaten Mono Blue and Mono Red. We can beat the aggro decks. We've gotten that so far. Okay, we'll keep it with Zealot and Squire being able to hit our land drops. Oh no. Oh no. Not a red deck, because this is... Okay, well... Uh, arguably worse for us. We did just beat red deck wins. Went with the Zealot right away. I just wanted to make sure we drew a, that we were drawing a card there. And I'm just <laughs> throwing the Zealot away for two life, honestly. Ooh. That could be some more life. Because <clears throat> very scared of Phoenixes. <laughs> I don't think we missed... Sideboarded Ethereal Absolution. That's just not too great of a card, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'll do this. This could get coiled. Definitely considering Chooping here. But I want to save Choop for a potential Crackling Drake. <laughs> yeah, we could make them... <clears throat> Could have them discard their Phoenix. What? What is that crap? Why can't I? I need a what? But it's crap. Killed the Drake. Drake down. I'm gonna go graveyard. I, w I want to get this dragon out here. Come on, dragon. Ooh. Ditched more shocks. Because I'd rather Portal Dragon than Portal Bell Hunt. Where's this fifth land for this dragon? Still no Phoenix. We have plenty of those things. Yeah, 
plenty of those drakes. So what have they gone through removal-wise? Three shocks, one coil. Oh, come on. What would you risk to beat? <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. Well, there goes a phoenix. So now Dragon is just going to deal them five. And they're going to kill the Dragon with Ral. Signs indicate that that hurt. So that or it could go Battlement, where they kill Battlement with Ral. But then Chupacabra won't do anything, because they'll just minus. Get their Chupacabra. But then next turn we'll have Dragon. Oh, like they're going to get the 3 2 back. Hmm. I mean, what does Play Reaper Hold Up Flicker really do? Like. Killer Phoenix again. Because this is five power. Ral going to five. That's kind of odd they use the opt on my turn. They must just have a whole lot of spells in hand. They're willing to do that. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. There's no maximized velocity in their deck. I mean, I can't say that for sure, of course, but... got stuck on that f fifth land for so long they've drawn they've gone through 19 more cards than we have uh, that's a lot all right so two phoenixes brought bring us down to three We don't have anything in our deck to win from here. So I guess we're going to need Contempts. And Angraths. Try to keep their hand clear. I don't know. Phoenix is going to be really difficult because all of our stuff is just destroy. Phoenix is going to be really tough. I mean, same kind of sideboarding as always. I mean, Mirror March could actually be okay here. This is 66. What are y'all thinking about, like, what cards I should cut? I have to cut something from this top end. So, Battlement, Dragon, March, and Grath. Like, what am I cutting out of these? I, I gotta cut some, some of this stuff. Battlement is very big. Hmm. 
Alright, maybe it's just not Angrath. So this is 63. I don't really love Bell Haunt, though. Just doesn't... Doesn't match up well. I'm gonna take out Belhaunt. And put the Midnight Reaper back in. Because, like, three fours. Don't get through Crackling Drake. They're just on the ground. I don't think I can get rid of that card. The card's kind of too important. Even though we don't have land. I want to ditch it because it's not a land, but that card's just so important of, like, actually being an answer to a phoenix. Okay. Yeah, this is the exact game the phoenix is good against. Like, these kind of cards. I just want to cycle the portal. Mm. I'll have to wait till next turn for Midnight Reaper. So that's a couple good turns for us. We're looking respectable, at least. What are you shocking with the steam vents for? Are they playing dive down? They're not playing dive down, right? They have spell pierce. They're just gonna shock. opting. We've gotten rid of a couple Crackling Drakes. Of course, they still have infinite cards. So I got to surveil another Phoenix over. It's annoying. Second Phoenix is really annoying, you know, like if they just had the one, like with the Contempt, it would have been a little better for us. I've flown on Gale Force winds. So yeah, you're saying we could have, should have sacked a Zealot to draw another card 
and then can't beat Ral. Just can't beat any of the stuff they have here. Well. We're going to win this game. We might as well win the game. Now we're going to draw a Demanding Dragon and win a bunch of flips. Did you really just find two? F they just found their uh, <laughs> Phoenix 3 and Phoenix 4 to kill us. Ugh. Yeah, that. I don't think we're ever winning that matchup. Phoenix is so difficult to deal with. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, we need ways to exile those things. Something. Yeah, it could be lava coils. I don't know. Yeah, cry the carnarium instead of deafening Clarion. But Clarion's just so good against other things. I don't, I don't think I would, I wouldn't like just, I don't think it would be that good to just try to, like, try to win the Is It Phoenix matchup and just, you know, start putting in a, a lot of cards that are good against Is It Phoenix. It's just a matchup you face, like, you know, like, under 5% of the time. It's not something I'd be worried about. Alright, so our mulligan's not the best here. Fungus. That's a good good card to draw that turns on our other lands. Uh, let these come into play untapped and also gives us our second white for Bell Hunt. That was a good draw. Playcrafter on turn three just makes him sack a 1 1 to token. I think I'd rather wait on Playcrafter to maybe sack Battlement or something like that. Like, there's just no reason to play this Playcrafter right now. <laughs> yeah, Playcrafter is going to turn into Deafening Clarion after sideboard. Because Clarion would be a whole lot better. Oh, gosh. That was a good hand for the opponent. Turn two, three drop. They made a couple creatures. Turn three, make three more three threes. And turn four, the Tender Shoot Dryad. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. All right, so Playcrafter just turns into Clarion. Easy swap. And then, do we want like Duress instead of Reaper? This hasn't been that quick of a league. We're two and one. So even if we lose this and we go two and two, that's that's pretty good. I don't know. Dragons just kinda kill them. It's a five five. I don't think I want to take out Dragon. You like Mortify more than Reaper? I kinda like that too. And killing those. I was thinking about duress, but killing the Tender Shoot Dryads. Pretty necessary. I do want to keep, keep in our crabby creatures, even though they get cleaned up by Clarion. Four lands. This is the third hand we've had with one land. At least third, maybe fourth. Opening hand with one land. That's so many of those. But I do like how these help us hit our land drops and find Clarions and stuff. Right? Is that the third or the fourth time that we've drawn had exactly one land in our seven? It's just always exactly one land. Yeah, it's a Death Cat for Cutie. Uh, this is Black Sun is the name of the song. 
Gonna fungal infection that? Alright. You got it. Pretty good start for the opponent, but we'll see how they can deal with the army of beast horrors starting next turn. Yeah. Look at the seven. It's one land. Mulligan. Three lands. Every game. Which could certainly be worse mulligans. We've had pretty decent mulligans at least. Hey, Deadshot. So not next turn, but the turn after their creatures are going to get 1-1 one, one counters. So even just I don't know, killing this 1-1, one, one, at least next turn it will be a 2-2. Two, two. But they'll likely have something better to play here. So Twitchy, I guess it depends on, on what deck you want to play. Asking how much would it cost to spend on Arena. Like, it, dep it depends on what deck you want to play and if you want to play immediately. A lot of people say that if you... I should have just attacked last turn. I'm not blocking these things. They're indestructible this turn. Anyway, if, you know, starting from scratch and you want kind of any, any standard deck... Like, you know, for the most part, um, spending, buying the $100 gem pack and cracking that open for, for wild cards and stuff usually gets you there. But, yeah, it's like Mono Blue, you can basically build, like, the $5 welcome bundle. And Mono Blue is a good deck. And yeah, you could get it, if not that, for very close to that. So I think you just need, like, the Tempest Gins are the only rares. Is that right? At least in the main deck. Sideboard usually has some more. They're usually playing, like, Entrancing Melodies and stuff. Yeah, and Gates is pretty easy to build, too. So you have some... You have a couple options like that. If you want something more like Soul Tire or Esper or something with a lot more Mythics... It'll take longer. But, correct. And so, Twitch, you said you're an experienced magic player. Uh, exactly what uh, Cavalier Guy said is correct. Playing limited drafting or sealed also. Sealed is very good return, honestly. Both of those are much better return for building your collection than just buying gems and cracking packs open. Papa Tim says that they've played for two months and they have mono blue drakes and they have mono blue drakes and gates now without spending any money. Well, that's dumb of me. I should have just triple blocked. That was dumb. Uh, getting late. <laughs> should have just triple blocked. Our, our uh, deck's not helping us a ton. We have drawn one Chupacabra and all these lands so far. I did scry a land at the top, so that's kind of my fault. So we basically had that fungal infection kill a chupacabra when it didn't need to.
Yeah, we shouldn't have whined about all those one land hands, huh? They're like, all right, you don't want one land? You can have all of the lands. Slimefoot is gonna be tough to beat. With only lands. Because each one of these sapperlings that die drains us. Two twos. Removal spell, please. All right, so the problem with Battlement. The problem with battlementing anything is we may not have enough blockers. Yeah, no, this isn't quite the pre-con. They just attack with everything, we die. It looks like they may be waiting a turn. Dang. Well, we had a really fun start to our deck. It was a it was a really good start. And not a good finish, unfortunately. Clarion could have saved us, that is true. We were we were drawing to Clarion. That lifelink. That could have helped. But Mardu Battle March. You know, we just we just really flooded out there, and our opponent had a perfect hand game one with their curve. You know, they killed us on turn four, so they had a, a perfect curve there game one where where we didn't have we didn't have anything to play on our first three turns uh, besides a play crafter, and we died. Uh, and then game two, we just drew all of the lands, so. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to Mirror March. That was one thing that, you know, really wanted to do. I uh, didn't get to Mirror March. Uh, Demanding Dragon was awesome. It, you know, like, basically single-handedly beat uh, Mono Blue for us there. Uh, it was really good against Mono Red also. Demanding Dragon was, was awesome for us. Um, besides that, uh, Playcrafter wasn't too impressive. It didn't really like the Playcrafters too much. Um... But we didn't really do very much with it, too. You know, like, we, we sideboard out, like, Reaper and Find, basically, all the time. Uh, Portal was okay. Yeah, we, we got to do some cool things with Portal. And Chupacabra, of course, very strong. But there we go.
Uh, Clarion, you, we wouldn't have dealt three damage with Clarion. We would have just gained life. Or we would have just done lifelink. Wouldn't have done the deal three kind of thing. All right, so that's Mardu Battle March. So if you're uh, watching this video later on on YouTube, well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video.